This is the continuation. So then, in any event, uh, Leo Trotsky relates, you know, the diaries of Nicholas II and Alex and their correspondence. Empress Alex, okay, and uh, and then through the diaries of Louis XVI, he says, and Marie Antoinette, just before they got executed on the of the French Revolution, to what is known of what Charles I did, who actually was executed, and then the Trotsky said that he needed to be killed to put the current people in power. I, I, I mean, I really don't know how that actually works out. I can look it up in a few minutes and find out. I think that's something interesting. But anyway, I don't know about that, so it's not a problem. So in any event, the thing is, it seems to be that this nobility who has this sort of divine right has this kind of divine curse of being out of touch with current events. And I really, from my experience, my experience um, in dealing with my situation, my in the storyline, my life has gone from being schizophrenic to being super smart, which is what I am today with supernatural powers and the storyline and these people have told me nothing the whole way through so they're totally out of touch with current events so you know i made this offer on god's bidding to basically say see if you can get along but i'm skeptical you know because what can they do they're totally out of touch with what's going on they have no relation or connection to reality you know the only thing to hope for is that they get smart enough advisors to help them out you know? So, you know, so I'm going to keep attacking them in the storyline, basically try to show them who is still, because I know they are, and God actually told me that they are. And, uh, and uh, well, you know, I mean, God, you know, the thing of God is he said things to me, hasn't said things, okay? And God, speaking to God, he's someone that's always very complimentary, and his answer is always yes, okay? And well, and so, so, you know, so, and then he says some things which actually are just random. But there are some things which aren't random, so, you know, and I think that the whole storyline makes sense and it fits, so I would say if anyone wants to sort of play devil's advocate and say, well, God's a liar, because there's definitely God that told me that they do it, you know, check the information out. But, you know, it all makes sense, but it can all be a coincidence in uh, the storyline, check the information out. So I'm going to try to accuse them as much as possible. And then if they desist trying to bug me with my business in October, or middle of October, I'll stop it and then just carry on with my life, which is not going to include naming anybody, because I don't believe in naming anybody, okay? but it's not going to include attacking anybody or putting people through a trial, which is going to have an unhappy outcome. So, you know, so that's basically what's going on, and uh, and that's what we're dealing with. I'm, I'm very skeptical, because... Um, I don't think they're capable of doing it to get you out of touch with reality. Really, I'm doing this for daddy, for dog, for whatever it is, okay, in the storyline, and we'll just have to see what happens, yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed the fifth installment. I'm having a ball here. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye, Patron. Bye. Bye.